Your wild cards are all done. So, Nick, take it away. AFC. All right, AFC South, I think, maybe I'm wrong, that we will all agree on the fourth place team. In fourth place, I have the Tennessee Titans. I don't love Will Levis. I really like all the other quarterbacks in this division. I hate that they fired Vrabel. To me, they're an easy fourth place. Sorry, good folks in Nashville. Now to number three, and this was one of my hardest postseason admissions, hmm. the Indianapolis oh, wow. Colts. I love the head coach. I think he made Jalen Hurts look like a superstar for the season with him. I think he, he you were a pass away from making the playoffs with Wilds guy Gardner Minshew. Yeah. Uh, I'm very intrigued by Anthony Richardson. I love the upside and the measurables. And I think they have an excellent offensive line and defensive line. But I question their secondary. I don't love the wide receivers and their back seven of their defense as a whole. And Anthony Richardson, he played four games, got hurt in two of them. So I can't put him in the postseason. I think the AFC South is tougher oh. than people thought. So I have them third. Bruce, surprised by that. I, I, I thought I, you were having him in the playoffs. The, I, I, it, like I said, it's my hardest omission. At number two, of course. the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yeah, of course. Eight and three. Yeah, Greg's surprised. He thought I'd have him winning it. No, no, no. I'm trying to be right, guys. I'm putting real hard earned to check. Looking on like this a lot stuff. of chalk to hey, the, <laughs> Well, you, you know what? I'm able to go a little chalk in this division because I took my big swings <laughs> earlier, Drew. Um, eight and three until Trevor's injury. Wilds anti guy, Doug Peterson, coaching for his job. Doug Peterson. Mm. has won double-digit games in how many games in his career? Anybody, anybody? One, the time they won the Super Bowl. Yeah. This is season number two. They get to 10 wins, just avoid the rain. I was scouring the Farmer's Almanac to see what it's like in their <laughs> outdoor games. <laughs> uh, those games in England, a little Ooh, tall, but London that is England. Um, and I am interested, while I, I'm not a big Gabe Davis guy, I do like Brian Thomas theoretically, and so we'll see what that's like. And then at number one is the Texans. There is just so much to like about this team. It does seem like their only weakness is going to be running the ball and stopping the run. I'm not a big Joe Mixon guy at this point in his career, and I don't. I think their pass defense and pass offense is going to be outstanding, and their coaching is going to be outstanding. I do think that when it comes to physical running teams or them wanting to be a physical running team, they could struggle a bit. But that's you know kind of minor around the edges. That Greg Jennings is my AFC South with two playoff representatives. I gotta, I gotta say, I, I am shocked. Why? You know why. I thought you had the prince taking his crown it's back. It's team sport. It's team I, sport. You I'm know, impressed. One can only do so much. I got to say, I'm impressed because you recognize greatness in Texas. Wow. You greatness. Is... Uh, but this is, the, yeah, this is, this is the order. Wow. This wow. is the okay. order. With the I... exception. Oh, good twist. With the exception of number two. I got the Colts. Wow. Oh, absolutely. That's the Jags. A, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nick. His, his crown has slipped off. Well, he's mid. Yeah. He's not mid. <laughs> he's not mid. He he's got hurt. ranked 16. He's got split. hurt. In the, <laughs> in the tiers. The, that's that's exactly mid. Yeah. Bro, yeah. let's see where you yeah. Do you have the Colts making the playoffs? I actually do have the Colts wow. making the playoffs. I, I got to be honest, Nick, and I was wrong. I'll give you credit. I thought you were going to actually leave the Texans out. Oh. Because I knew you loved Richardson. Yeah. I thought you'd have the Colts in there, and obviously the Prince you were going to pick to make the play. The, even if the Colts make it, it's not because I think the Texans are going to fall out. If the Colts make it, I think that they take the Chargers. It was To me, it was the Colts-Chargers mm. were the two teams that were fighting for the last playoff spot in my in my head. Well, look, we, we were thinking similar. Yeah. Uh, Tennessee, number four. I will give the Titans credit. for uh, They're going to be bad, I think. They're all in. Yeah. They really are all in. I, I Look, they're trying to see if Will Levis is their guy. So they go out and get Tony Pollard. They go out and get Calvin Ridley. They go out and get Tyler Boyd. Like, they wow. they really had an offseason. Well, but, but those are, you know, seriously, though. Somebody's got to be a weird Boyd surprise Boyd is a good team. receiver. Yeah, and Ridley's a good receiver. And Pollard's a good run. Like, they had an offseason, like they're trying to win. I obviously don't think they will too much. But look, if they find out if Will Levis is or is not our quarterback of the future, that's good. I got the Colts at three. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I, 
Richardson, like you said, my biggest thing, he couldn't finish. He, he had trouble finishing games yeah. last year. And Gardner Minshew, like I said, made the Pro Bowl last year for them. Um, you got, you know, great offensive line. Jonathan Taylor. If Richardson's healthy, he can run. So that's, that's there. But I, I obviously got them third. Jacksonville, second, but not no making playoffs, the playoffs. Stan. Not making the playoffs. And look, this is a huge year for the Prince. A huge year because, look, they went out and got him. I like Gabe Davis. You know that. They already had You've Christian Kurtz, who's Davis, pretty good, yeah. right? And Brian Thomas Jr., we both like. Like, this guy, I think, could be really good receiver, the rookie out of LSU. And I, Travis Etienne's a solid running back. So, he's got weapons. It's time for him to get it done. And then, of course, Houston, the only team from this division, making the playoffs. Uh, I, don't, I don't see what there is not to like about the Texans. Man, you guys really, you're shocking me with the Colts. I mean, I, I like their offense. I like their offense simply because of, not just because of Anthony Richardson, but Josh Downs had a productive year last year as a rookie. I think he'll, he'll add more to their offense. And Michael Pittman Jr., you got the big size guy. I thought you were Anthony the, Richardson. I am an Anthony Richardson guy, but I just think it's the kind of burden of expectations. Colts and Jags both had nine wins last year. Colts, it was considered a great year. Jags, it was a disaster. They both had debilitating injuries to their quarterback. They, I mean, How they both. Wait, to wait, wait, wait. Well, I don't know. I mean, he, I mean he, <laughs> we, he, they thought they might have to take the leg. Oh, that's I mean, true. We discussed it. Um, yeah, it was bad. Can I just ask the group one quick question <laughs> for Trevor? What would be better for your guys' perception of Trevor Lawrence? They go 11 and 6, and his stats are mid. Yeah, gaudy number. Or he has 4,500 yards, 32 touchdowns, 11 picks, but they go 9 and 8 and miss the playoffs. Yeah. What would to you would I'm make. I'm going to be honest, the latter. That's the, what the I figured. Biggest the big statistical numbers. year, yep. Because he hasn't done it. Because he hasn't had Even that his yet. second year, which was good. It wasn't good. That's for me. You agree? Your quarterback wins guy, you agree? But. Uh, it's kind of Herbert-esque. That's that's what I meant. I yeah, know, like, I just want to see it like, wow, can really air it out. Right. If the deep, if he yeah. loses games like, because the 42-35, yeah. like that's yeah. okay. No, I think that's. We right. know. I know yeah. what you're gonna say. No, it is. It's yeah. the latter. It, unfortunately, yeah. we we just want to see him not be the reason why they're losing. Well, he's well. Let's relax. On that. <laughs> he hasn't been the reason they win enough. You but he's rarely see, been the yeah. reason they lose. Yeah. Just Except for when it's right. show some star <laughs> power. The rain has been a problem. I'm just can I can I just I might just get shot down here. It feels this one I get a little bit nervous. It feels like everybody is in on the Texans. It's it's hard to find one That's, person and be like, you know what, Texans, overhyped. Everyone's all in on the Texans. And Greg, I'll just ask you to be like a debate club guy right now. If it went wrong, if they underachieved outside of injury, what would have happened? Defensively, they okay. thought they would really? they would get the production out of Daniil Hunter, and it doesn't show up. Uh, they they got young corners, so I think they could get hurt there, but. I, that would be it. I don't think it will be anything outside of injury. Yeah. Offensively, I think they're going to be terrific. It's defensively where the questions. But, but that's and the. There point. are tons of questions the, defensively. Yeah. No. The. I, mean, I, I think their. I, I think their run defense could be a problem. But again, most teams are not trying to pound the pound the run. Um, but I think, for instance, Baltimore once again would be a bad matchup for them. You know what I mean? Oh, that yeah. in Baltimore. But the the point that I've been making the last couple of weeks is. Texans Packers both teams mediocre in last year's regular season a single great playoff game yeah. and now both teams are very trendy forget playoff picks Super Bowl picks mm -hmm. and I just feel like one of those two teams is going to stub its toe significantly. I think it's the Packers, but I don't think we're going to go two for two on those two teams, Serge. All right, uh, let's head over to the NFC South. Uh, traditionally one of the, let's see, be kind, least formidable divisions. Uh, now features new quarterback in Kirk Cousins and our guy, uh, The Bake Show. Hopefully a rejuvenated Bryce Young on Derek Carr until Spencer Rattler maybe takes a spot. Here's where we are in our playoff predictions. Oh, I have two spots. You still have two spots. Brew, again. Only the one. I like my lineup, boy. Well, yeah, it's last, last year's playoffs. Powerhouse team. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, it is <laughs> last year's playoffs in the <laughs> NFC. It is your lineup. Uh, all right. At number four, the, the listen, there are two teams in the league that I look at them, and I'm like, I don't think they have a single strength. 
Ouch. The Patriots and the Panthers. More defensive team. Well, I don't know that you are anymore. Maybe. I, we'll see. But the loss of Judon hurts. But regardless, on the yeah. Panthers, I, I, the, I feel badly for Bryce. And with that said, because of the schedule and because Bryce can't be as bad as last year and because Dave Canales, yeah. undersized yeah. quarterback, get it together a little, I could see a scenario where they finish third because this team, I think, is a train wreck waiting to happen. I still have them third, though, the New Orleans Saints. I think everyone's getting gone. I think Derek Carr's gone after this year. Dennis Allen's gone after this year. They might finally do what they've long needed to do, which is shake up that front office. We might see Spencer Rattler. They're just such an old team mm -hmm. that keeps putting everything on the credit card. They can't move on from players they want to because the dead money hit is bigger than their this year cap hit. And so that Rattler would kind of be a get out of jail free card because he's so cheap. You can deal with Derek Carr. But I think I think the Saints are a five win team, which Ooh, is why wow. I think it's possible that the Panthers could jump them. And and by the way, you know what's good for the two other teams in the division? You can go 4 and 0 against these two teams because number 2 Big Show huh? back in the playoffs oh, once love again. It. Love you know it. what Baker does when he's healthy? Makes the playoffs, wins a playoff game, throws for 300 yards in the playoffs. That's just what the man does when he's healthy. When he's not dealing with a terrible shoulder injury no. that he should have had surgery on. They're going to go 4 and 0 against the Saints and Panthers. They also have on the schedule Washington early, Denver, the Giants and, Ra and the Raiders. Just handle those teams. You have your eight wins. Yeah. Can you split with Atlanta? Can you steal one other game the rest of your schedule? All of a sudden, you have ten wins. We all know they have a good offensive line. We all know they have good receivers. If the defense can hold up, Bake Show do what he does. Back in the playoffs. Love back it. surprise. Last Love time it. we saw Bake Show in the playoffs, he was lighting up Bruce Eagles, <laughs> keeping them in that supernatural funk. And then at number one, a Falcons team that it's the rare team that August editions really matter. I was going to have the Bucks win this division, but Judon and Simmons, mm -hmm. adding them mm -hmm. to buttress that back seven, I think now you have two. You, Jesse Bates might be the best safety in the league outside of Kyle Hamilton. You add Simmons, you got a real pass rush with Judon. We, I feel like the offense is going to be formidable-ish, and I really, I know you guys don't gamble, uh, there is a bet that if anybody out there would like to make this market, I would appreciate it. The Falcons to win the a NFC South, host the Lions in round one, and get waxed. Like, that. I, I can't, the Falcons winning that division and losing a home playoff game to whoever the best wild card team, I feel like that is a fate accompli, but they win the division, mm. Greg. Yeah, I like this. This is this is spot on for me from one to four. Uh, Bake in the playoffs. Bake Show is not in the playoffs for now, <laughs> so I, I don't have them making the playoffs. But the Falcons, they're going to be interesting to watch, man. Defensively, when you have a when you bring in a, a defensive-minded coach who specializes in the secondary, you got to have a pass rusher so your secondary yeah. can hold up. And so I think that's that's a match made in heaven. We'll see what Kirk does. To, and but they maybe could survive offenses. a quarterback injury. They're one of the few teams, yeah, maybe. We'll yeah. Maybe. We'll see how Kirk unlocks those weapons that they have on the offensive <sighs> side. Here's the worst of first. Panthers winning the South. <laughs> Give it to He's us. He's trying bro. to convince me to beat the Panthers. <laughs> they are not. Uh, I got, look, I got similar stuff to you. Okay. Uh, the Carolina Panthers, number four. Man. I hope Bryce can do something. They brought in Deontay Johnson, who I think is really talented. Hopefully, he'll help Bryce. But I, I'm with Nick. They could be the worst team in football. Again? So, yes, again. Because yeah. I'm they right. Could. usually. Yeah. So. <laughs> Number three, New Orleans. I'm not as down on the Saints. You don't see five wins. I still see a pretty good defense. They're generally, even though they're older, they are old, they're always in the top ten defensively. They're going to be good, uh, or not good, but, you know, I don't see them. I think I think the top three teams in this division battle. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, battle. like they did last year. Yes, yeah. I see that again. Uh, at number two, though, I got the Bucks, but no playoffs. Baker played last year, and me and Baker are cool now. Yeah. But he played with a chip on his shoulder last year. He had to prove himself yeah. again. This year, you got the big contract, $100 million. Wasn't even you that got big. You. For a guy that was almost done as a starter and had, had struggled with a few teams, it was big. You got your own team now. 
And they still have no running game. I know they didn't have a running game last year, and he did well. But I got them having a decent season, but no playoffs. And here we go, Atlanta. You talked about a lot of the additions, but I, Kirk Cousins, I think, is going to – I think he can unlock Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts so. is only 23 years old. Yeah. You know, everybody talks about him almost Robert like, Lawrence is it. you know, he's a bust and he, he just didn't get it done. He's still got a lot of time to become a good receiver. I think that he helps Kyle Pitts and obviously Drake London and then B. John Robinson offensively. So, yeah. Okay. Those Out the door, mind. Greg. Mike Evans touchdowns this year. You know, uh, eight. Does he have a thousand yards again, like he does every year? Yeah, yeah that's that's yeah. it. Yes. A thousand yards is like one more thousand yard these. season for him, and he becomes a lock Hall of Famer. He's he right might there. already it's, be. And this, he, it's unfortunate that we're he he needs another one, but he's just not a name that you just right. immediately yeah. say, oh yeah. Dynamic. And it feels like he's, he's never been like in the conversation for the best, best in the league. Best so he might already be Hall of Famer, but.